You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, welcome to another hairy episode of Ask Drone You. Uh, my name is Paul. My name is Rob, not the hairy one here, and this is episode 708. Glad you're with us. Spending a few minutes of your day hanging out with little old us. Very glad to have you. Uh, very glad to have you guys. Thank you for the reviews. Uh, if you took some time to like, share, or comment on our podcast, or you subscribed to wherever you listen to shows, we greatly appreciate it. Um, just want to say a special thank you to everyone who has watched the mapping course. We've been getting a lot of feedback on that. And if you're a listener and you've been waiting to get into Drone U to check out all the classes, uh, the time that you have waited is probably, well... I think that you'll find that there's no more need to wait, especially with the value of the 16 part and piece mapping course, which could add a significant line of revenue to your business. So I would really recommend checking it out. Uh, you could become a member, just go to the droneu.com. Before we get to today's question about the DJI X7 and its capability for mapping, um, I would just like to say a special thank you to our friends at Energen who have let us review and now sponsor the podcast for their remote charging stations. I call them remote because normally you're in remote places. If you're like me, you travel around everywhere and chances are you forgot to charge a battery. Well, don't let that wear you down anymore because if you have an Energen portable battery charger, there's good news. Why is that? Well, it's going to let you charge up to four batteries at one time. And if you use discount code DRONEUA40, when you go to buy one of these batteries, you're going to save 50 bucks off the battery charger. Just go to myenergen.com forward slash shop. And I'll be honest with you guys, I love these things. I still have one in my car because I, I really do use it all the time. And I've been seeing more and more people get their hands on them. So they're, they're truly awesome. And I would recommend getting one. Indeed. They get used here. That's for sure. That is for sure. They uh, get, absolutely. They get used a lot. I'm not going to talk about jokes that talk about getting used getting a lot. Used. Probably not a good thing. To good stay, restraint. Stay away from that. Well done. <laughs> question. Hey, Paul. You're right. Kevin, New Jersey. I had a question about mapping. Uh, when the X7 comes out and you have a chance to use it, because of the 24 megapixel sensor, do you think that that'll be the way to go for mapping or an improvement over the Phantom 4 Pro or unique H520 because of uh, the higher resolution in each still? Or is it kind of a wash because it's 24 megapixels versus 20, perhaps it's not that big of a deal. But uh, let me know your thoughts, thanks. All right. So when we first played this question, Paul, you were like, absolutely. Absolutely, Mike. What's up with that? Well, okay. First of all, I do want to say that I'm very, very excited for the X7. Um, I have been bugging Peter and the DJI Manhattan store Ooh, called out. for quite a long time to get ours. <laughs> well, because some other influencers got theirs already mm. and we are quote unquote first on the list, but we haven't gotten ours yet. So I'm a little mad. Come on, guys. I just want that dang camera, man. <laughs> um, I'm very excited for that camera uh, for a lot of purposes. Yes, the video out of it will be amazing. Yes, it's a much bigger um, imaging sensor. Yes, we've got multiple lenses to choose from, which I really love. Yes, it can fly on an existing in Inspire 2, which I love. And yeah, you can fly it on an M210 or an M200. Um, and so I will say I will say this. There's a couple of caveats to all this. Number one, yes, video is awesome. Yes, it has better dynamic range. Yes, it has interchangeable lenses. So what does that mean for mapping? Well, number one, with better dynamic range, essentially what it means is that when we take our stills for our acquisition, our data acquisition plan, we're going to get better detail in the shadow areas, which is really important because if you don't have the best weather conditions and if you don't know what those great weather conditions are for mapping, then again, you're going to want to check out the mapping course. Um but it allows you to get better maps more days of the year because mm -hmm. it has more dynamic range. But also, in the fact that it's only 24 megapixels, and I'm sure you could you could fit a lot more megapixels on, on this sensor, it means that your pixels are going to be a little bit larger, which means a little bit more light in each pixel, which actually is going to make, again, 
for a better map. So hmm. to answer his question, yes, I am very, very excited for the X7 for mapping. I actually thought of it for mapping before cinematography. And it's funny because at DJI Airworks, they did not even talk about the X7 for mapping. It was all about cinematography. Is that right? Uh-huh. So very good job, Ken. That's astute of you to ask about mapping, yes, right? Yes, As opposed to cinematography. I'm very excited about it. But I will also say um, I am also trying to build a drone that doesn't have a DJI quote-unquote brain but could still use the X7 and that is possible mm. the parts are out there so I am going to try to build such a thing so hopefully a class coming in the in 2018 sometime we, yeah one of our first classes in 2018 should be um, building a drone and with all these security issues I want to build a drone that uses an older DJI brain because let's face it DJI does make the very best flight controllers hands down there's no question about that. But with this whole data security issue that's been going on, um, some of our contractors have been saying, well, can we still use DJI and eliminate these security issues? And I think that there is a way around it. Hmm. Um, and we're going to test that. And we've actually been working with some friends at our local labs to say, I think I've got a solution. We're going to build it and you guys should test it. Well, that's exciting. It is exciting. But in addition, uh, we're also going to build the exact same drone with a different brain. And we've got two different brains that we're looking at. Uh, One of them isn't even out yet. It is called the uh, Elmid Edge. And it is a new flight controller uh, that's coming out. And I'm very excited about that as as Rob peeks over my shoulder and takes a look at it. Um, But also, we're going to be using the... um, uh, what is it called? The uh, Pixhawk 2, which, no, it is not a 3DR product, actually. I, really? Yeah, it's not. 3DR I ditched didn't know the Pixhawk 2 in production, and now it's being built out of Australia. Hmm. So we are going to be using a Pixhawk 2 as well, um, because one of the only issues with using with this older DJI brain is that it's limited in waypoints. So Interesting. We've got to be able to have a drone that uh, integrates, you know, camera data and um, uh, flight controller data so we can actually get accurate maps. Because the whole point of building this drone is to get the highest level of accuracy maps possible. Cool. Uh, And I think that's really important. Now, I will say, um, when he asked the question about the X7 and mapping, will it make your maps better? If we're talking about relative accuracy, you still have to have some sort of ground control point. It's so important for relative accuracy. Again, and mapping class, right? Again, which is why we're going to be buying one of these bad boys. And I'm not going to say, not that, I'm not going to say exactly what it is. We're talking about that. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, we want to do essentially a test on different GCPs. You know, there's the propeller option out there, but people are saying you have to buy 10 of them, which is $5,000, which is a lot of money versus mm-hmm. this unit right here, which is seven ninety nine, And it is RTK GPS as well. So we're going to be having um, some videos about that. Uh, coming out, which we're really excited on, and even more classes to add on to our mapping course to give people more information and data. Um, But that being said, the X7 could make your maps better as far as um, pixel detail and whatnot, but you're going to have to have a faster computer to run those maps because you're throwing more information at it. Um, And in addition, if you don't have ground control points, your maps may not be more accurate. So there are caveats to this, and I kind of wanted to talk about that because if the general answer to his question is yes, mm-hmm. but there are caveats. Well, because accuracy obviously is critical. Otherwise, they're just going to use the old methods. True. Because they're not necessarily concerned about pretty, although there's some modeling that can look really cool and they can use for different things. True. But it's going to come back to accuracy. True. <laughs> right on. Yeah, you're you're right on the ball there, Rob. Out a baby. Yeah, so anyway, I'm very excited about the X7, waiting to get my hands on one. Super jealous of uh, drone promotions on Instagram because he got one. Um, He pushes DJI links instead of Amazon links. Mm. So he got his really early... Well, that's lesson. all right. Lesson to be learned. It's going to come. Definitely. So, be here. It's all right. It's all uh, good. Anyway, I think that answers our question for today, guys. If you have a question, just go to askdroney.com, upload mm-hmm. that question. But also, I mean, if you're hearing this show, which I know uh, about 100,000 of you are, and you haven't gotten into mapping, here's the beautiful thing. If you notice that business slows down in the winter because you're doing video jobs, it's actually one of the best times of the year for mapping yeah. because your vegetation, uh, you know, is at its its lowest level right now. It's not blooming. You can actually see a lot more uh, detail 
And, you know, photogrammetry thrives if you have the right weather conditions, and winter is a good time for that. And so. the cool thing about that is that mapping is not just one main vertical. It is multiple verticals that come out of the idea or the concept of mapping. True. And so we're going to have classes on some of those as well. Totally true. That are in the works right now. And, well, they're recorded and uh, being edited. So Totally true. Fun stuff. Well, anyway, guys, that is going to do it for us today. Please subscribe to our show on iTunes, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you download shows, if that's Stitcher or SoundCloud, whatever. We would greatly appreciate it. And as a Christmas gift, please, 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 uh, please, please share the show. Now, as a Christmas gift to you, if you've listened to the show and you got this far, our giveaway officially starts today. We are giving away a Mavic Pro Platinum. Now, Rob, how much do you love Mavic Pros? I I really love, especially yours. Oh, why is that? Because mine's hacked? That would be why. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. remember when I first flew our Mavic Pro and you kind of put it in the little, I don't know, kitty mode for me. And I like, well, this thing's broken. <laughs> I love the Mavic Pro so much. Oh, man, so much. Um, so anyway, we are giving away a Mavic Pro Platinum. Now, in this giveaway, we have a really unique tracking system. So if you sign up for the giveaway, you can also create your own unique link. And if you share that on Facebook or on Instagram and other people click that link and sign up for the giveaway themselves, you get three additional entries into the giveaway. So the more that you share, the higher chances of winning that you have. Isn't that cool, right? You're getting rewarded for all that hard work. And think about it. A Mavic Pro could be in your hands. What also could be in your hands? Access, exclusive access to all 27 Drone U courses. That way you could really take this time, the holiday season, to increase your brain power and think about all the different ways that you could make money while, quote unquote, having fun. Yeah. Try Is to it, win this thing. That'd be a great way to start 2018. Definitely. So how do you win it? Just go to DroneUGiveaway.com. Type that in right now at DroneUGiveaway. Dot com. I think you guys are going to really, really like this. Yeah, it's cool. We're so excited to give it away. We've given away drones before, and uh, it's something that we really enjoy doing. We love empowering other people, and this is just one extra step of doing that. So check it out, DroneUGiveaway.com. That's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. This is Ask Drone You. Ask Drone You.